Hey folks, welcome back to the show. Our next guest is a good friend, music composer, musician, music teacher, the one and only Eddie Morgan. Eddie, welcome to the show, my man. Good to see you and good to be here, Mike. Listen, I love it, folks. And if you don't see that smile and make you smile, <laughs> something's wrong with you. Eddie, so listen, what we do here, I know you, and a lot of the folks even here in the studio know you. Mm -hmm. But tell the folks at home a little bit about yourself, raised, and, and your love for music. Well, born and raised in Atlantic City, New Jersey. That's right. I call it Casino City of the East, man. That's right. But for a long time, World's Playground, as I grew up, uh, we, we were able to do a lot of things. Uh, that aren't no longer in Atlantic City, like you know bowling alleys and all that kind yeah. of stuff. But music became my my passion, and uh, when I look at how my life went, I started with band and stuff in school, went to high school, on to college, got a music degree, came out, still wanted to play in bands, so I started my own bands back in like '87, and uh, still going today. You definitely are still going today. Before we go into some of your inspirations, tell us some of the bands that you played that, in the type of the music. Was it all R&B well, or good? Yeah, yeah. Way back in the day, it was all funk and R&B bands. We played uh, covers off the radio. We dropped the needle. You know how they used to <laughs> right. do that. We'd get the horn parts, and we had singers that could and couldn't sing <laughs> like the record. But uh, right. we had a lot of fun. And uh, in fact, uh, Angela Burton, and I went a band together, and uh, Free Spirit LTD was one of my first bands. Wow! And uh, we won a, a Warner Brothers national uh, competition and did a, a demo rec uh, recording in New York City. So that's a little history back back in the day, but. Listen. My influences go way back with music in Lang City. And, and that's what we're going to talk about here, though. But, but we have a generation that's missed the, the, the record player and whatnot, though. And that's right. for another show. <laughs> when you come on the radio show, we'll talk more about that. No Eddie, talk to us a little bit about your inspirations for music. I know you hit one or two, though, but there's many more, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the first and foremost is Louis Armstrong. Because my sister and I would stay up and watch old movies with Louis and uh, Velma Middleton and Ella Fitzgerald and all these greats that were in these movies. And Louis was singing and playing his trumpet. So when the fourth grade came around, I, I gravitated to want to play the trumpet. And it just was so much fun and I was able to do it well. So I just continued it. But after, the, after I got into high school and all, many others, Miles Davis, Dizzy Gillespie, mm -hmm. Clifford Brown, you know, Clifford uh, Brown. Freddie Hubbard, I mean, Lee Morgan, Wynton Marsalis, all these guys are like inspiration to me. And uh, I, pro I probably do my style more like Miles in a way, but they all come out sometimes or another. You know, how improvisation is, you hear a lick, you use that lick, you bring that lick back, whatever. But that's, that's what's influenced me. And it's amazing, like you said, you drop those names like that and to be able to, uh, at a young age, to be able to pick that up. I'm sure you were encouraged at home as well to uh, do some of that. Well, yeah, well, well school teachers did right. it. Um, Ken Scribner was my, one of my first trumpet teachers, on with Mr. Uh, Jan Dr. James Burns. And then on in high school, we had Mr. Burbick, who was our band director, mm -hmm. and a uh, French horn teacher was, was phenomenal, like I said, Mr. Burns. But we went to all kinds of things with band and orchestra and choir. And I sing too, so, love you know, it. love love, love singing. That was that was kind of my first passion, because right. trumpet wasn't first. Right, 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 so it's a <laughs> and then that just gravitated to that. So listen, not putting you on the spot, but you brought a little instrument back with you and you've wrote something and, and oh, yeah. uh, so why don't you give us a little taste in the folks at home? I just happened to what? have my trumpet with me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well. This little ditty I'm going to do uh, is um, called Chuck's Groove. I'm just going to play the first section of it. It's on my first CD with Roy Ayers and the Atlantic Urban Jazz Ensemble produced by Bill Lark, a good friend of mine. Very nice. sections. I love it. Now listen, <clears throat> let, let, we gave them a little teaser. Tell folks where they can find that. Uh, they, they they have to see me. Right, okay. <laughs> All right, and we're going to talk more about yeah. that. Where they're Facebook going to be able to see. Eddie Morgan, uh, and uh, then I have uh, Eddie Morgan Trio page, yeah. 
and Eddie Morgan wrecked for Jazz Page. So, so Eddie, again, uh, lifelong resident, the music in Atlantic City. We only have a few minutes, so, but talk about some of that, because I'm sure that was some of the inspiration, what you've seen going on around you, besides those awesome names that you mentioned. Well, back in the day, the Club Harlem <clears throat> was, was the main spot uh, on the north side. You know, So it was like Apollo in New York, and my mom used to take us to shows. So I got to know I got to know the musicians <clears throat> as I was coming through. Johnny Lynch was the lead trumpet player, and right. uh, he uh, he influenced me a lot as well. But the Wonder Gardens was a spot to mm. play at the Jockey Club, uh, and I even got to play at the Five Hundred Club once wow. when, when awesome. my sister's uh, junior prom. Our band, the Black Essence, played for their prom in the Five Hundred Club. That's amazing. So it was, it was, the town was wide open, but totally different than it is now. Right. So we only got a few minutes left. Again, like I just keep saying the same thing. But tell us, I mean, and you said it was amazing. Whether it was, uh, you know, on Kentucky Ave or uh, the 500 Club, what was that experience like? I saw the smile, but just tell folks so they get a sense of that history. You would see lines around the corners, you know, like trying to get into the shows because the uh, Club Harlem, held like 500 people. So if they had a line, it went around the block almost, you know, right. to get in because nobody rushed. You couldn't just go in. Right. right. It was only one entrance. And it's a beautiful visual, too, as well, because we see some of the pictures sometimes. Oh, yeah. And listen, if I had a club, that's where I'd do it. Hey, folks, listen, we're going to take care of you. Right. We're going to feed you, get you a drink, get some great music. Mm -hmm. But you got to stand outside. But it's beautiful, though. Right. That's right. amazing. The history of Atlantic City music is unprecedented. I mean, there's only a few places you could go to see some of it. I think right. Boardwalk Hall with the Atlantic City experience. Mm -hmm. But what you're doing, my friend, is keeping it alive. I mean, I'm you're out the there. I'm doing the best I can. I'm right. doing the best I can. Well, Kelsey's has embraced on Kentucky Avenue, and I call it uh, KY in the curb south side because his no, his north side is gone. Right. You know, uh, the club home and all that was on the north side. So anyway, Kelsey's, we play second Fridays, and we're moving into a new spot the Rhythm and Spirits right. on uh, the Orange Loop with yep. uh, Mark Colazzo's uh, spot. And we're going to be there on the first Fridays. So you can come on down and check us out. Eddie Morgan Trio, we, me and Daryl Robinson and Jeff Burnside. Uh, we'll do our best to put a smile on your face and play some good music for you. Hey, so Eddie, thank you so much for being our guest today. Love you. Thank You'll you. definitely be back. My Folks, pleasure. listen, stay tuned. We'll be right back.